On this episode, part two, we go live from Atlanta. and welcome to episode 45 of the Ask Dr. A show. This is a part two of the question and answer session we made out uh, at the weight loss surgery conference, Southeast Weight Loss Surgery Conference in Atlanta. And we had a ball, we, we got to meet uh, a lot of patients, new patients, former patients doing fantastic, losing a lot of weight. And of course, we, ha we had a uh, question and answer session. This is a part two. If you haven't seen part one, it is episode 44, so you can look it up on, face, on Facebook and on YouTube, which is uh, simple to bring it up, so you can uh, take a look at that show too. So this is part two, and uh, let's get into the show then. How long after surgery can you drink coffee? Uh, I do. Uh, I allow my patients to do decaf right away, right away, and until you're 21 days post-op, you can start doing some, some, some uh, regular coffee. The reason is, uh, stomach takes about, takes about 14, 21 days after to heal, <clears throat> and after that time, it's practically impossible to make that sleep come apart. So after that time, Which procedure do you suggest for a woman who has never been pregnant? All right, um, what would be the BMI? Patient, age, your, your age? Yeah, get sleep, don't sleep is Perfect for you. Let me tell you why. Uh, sleeve has no rewriting intestines. Sleeve has no uh, malabsorption. Uh, sleeve has an anti-metabolic effect. Helps with diabetes or preventing diabetes. Uh, helps uh, high blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides. It has, it has a, uh, an anti-metabolic effect. And it helps a lot with uh, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. We get a lot of referrals from OBGYNs, uh, patients who can't get pregnant, who tried it all, treatments and everything, because they're overweight. The point, it spikes your fertility. Your fertility goes to the roof uh, because your everything starts to work better because hormones work better. Hormones are very jealous. Everything needs to work perfectly in your body for, for your hormones to be in a very good state. If you increase your body mass, increase your fat tissue, that increases estrogen, and then that changes everything in your body, and then you have uh, cycles where you don't ovulate, and cycles that uh, you may uh, miss a period, cycles where, you know, it, it, but you bring down your body mass just a bit, and everything comes into the perfect cycle. And that's when you get pregnant. I have tendency to keloid scars. Is it something that will affect me? Totally independent. Totally independent. The sleeve will help you get into that cycle, that perfect cycle of your body, everything working perfectly. But what happens inside your uterus and everything, that's totally independent. That, will, yeah, that you'll have to do, will deal with the OBGYN and, and they will deal with that. But yes, if you're struggling because of PCOS, if you're struggling because you're overweight and has a, has changed your, uh, your your cycle, your menstrual cycle, your periods, and everything, then sleeve will help you tremendously in that. Maybe you have a combination problem there. Maybe you have the, just the PCOS. Maybe that uh, uh, being overweight is not helping your cycle, and you have that. Well, you try to cut down on on problems there. Do hormones after surgery tend to spike? See, look at it this way. It's, it's like, um, I'm trying to put it in a very simple way. Um, you have a sprinkler right there in the center of the room, all right? And this is your body, this room. The sprinkler is designed to cover this area right here. But if you put more weight on your room, actually gets expanded, 
and the sprinkler will cover the whole area, mm. right? So that's what's going on right now. Sprinkler's there, it's turned on, it covers only this area. So things are not working correctly. But if you start to reduce your body mass, which you are, all of a sudden, you get to this room. And everything works better, perfect, the way it was designed to. So it's not that the, the hormones, the hormones will be the sprinkler, what they're, what they're actually covering. Right? So the hormones are there. It's not that they're spiked up, or they're going to come down to the ground, they're going to be altered. They're, they're designed to cover a certain area. Can a sleeve convert it into something else? But the cool thing about the sleeve, you're talking about the sleeve, right? The cool thing about the sleeve is it can be revised. So you're, you're thinking about getting a bypass maybe, or you can get a sleeve, and down the road if needed, you can switch that to a gastric bypass. But the other way around, uh -uh. bypass to a sleeve can be done. But from a, from a sleeve, you can go convert that to a, a dual dental switch, you can go convert that to a, to a BPD, you can convert that to a gastric bypass, you can, I mean, you got options. But you go to the bypass, you convert your switch. Why do you use a smaller boogie? So the question is, why use a smaller bougie? The bougie is a, uh, is a uh, French word, on the wolf So, uh, and uh, it means candle. But it, 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 it's a calibration to uh, like a size of a candle. It's candles can come different thicknesses. And the same as those tubes. And the calibration tube is inserted uh, through your mouth while you're up there, of course. And that serves, it goes all the way down through your stomach, to your stomach, and we, it, it tells us what pattern or what width to leave that stomach uh, a certain size. So that means capacity, right? Smaller the tube, smaller the capacity. Bigger the tube, bigger the capacity. More common the weight we gain, more common uh, uh, stalls, etc. So that's why. The smaller, of course, keeping in a safety range, right? You don't want to do that thing of sleep, you know, it's just a time. You'll be able to eat a spaghetti, but vertically. <laughs> so that was it for episode 45. I hope you enjoyed the question and answer session. Question of the day is, where would you like me to go speak? Answers right here on the comments section. I look forward to seeing, hearing from you, and we'll see you on episode 46. Take care. God bless.